Hello, my name is Emily and I am a librarian here at the Brownsburg Public Library in Brownsburg, Indiana, and welcome to Storytime Shorts. Thanks so much for joining me for this episode of Storytime Shorts. Our goal is always to share some fun things to do with your little ones that also help support early learning all geared towards kids ages zero to five and their caregivers. Our library's summer reading program theme is All Together Now. And for this video, we're focusing on helpers in our community. If we look, we can find helpers all around us. So we'll explore that with three songs today. I also have three book suggestions and a summer activity idea. As always, there is a table of contents in the video description that you can use to quickly skip or revisit any of these activities. Some people have a job where they can help people all day long. Can you think of some jobs like that? Let's see. Who helps kids learn in school? Teachers do, that's right. So this is the Community Helper song, and we'll, we'll do a few verses. Teachers teach the kids, the teachers teach the kids. Hi ho, they help us so the teachers teach the kids. Hmm, who else? Okay, who helps keep us healthy and well? Our doctor does, that's right. Okay. The doctors keep us well, the doctors keep us well. Hi ho, they help us so the doctors keep us well. grow our food. Farmers do, that's right. The farmers grow our food. The farmers grow our food. Hi ho, they help us so the farmers grow our food. Lovely. Let's see, who brings us letters to our mailbox? The mail carrier, that's right. Mail carriers deliver the mail. Mail carriers deliver the mail. buildings clean. Our custodians do. All right. Custodians keep us clean. Custodians keep us clean. Hi ho, they help us so custodians keep us clean. Let's see, let's do two more. Oh, there is a special doctor that helps us keep our teeth clean. The dentist. The dentist check our teeth. The dentist check our teeth. pick out some books. Librarians do, that's right. Librarians find us books. Librarians find us books. Hi ho, they help us so librarians find us books. I bet that there are some helpers in our families. Let's think about all the people in our families who can help us out with this next song. It's called, If You Have a Brother. Do you have a brother? Okay, listen carefully. If you have a brother, a half brother, a step brother, if you have a foster brother, please stand up. Oh, I have a brother. I can stand up. Very nice. Okay, so we can't leave out sisters. You ready? If you have a sister, a half sister, a stepsister, if you have a foster sister, raise your hand. Oh, I have a sister too. What about you? Very nice, okay. Who else is in our family? Mommies are, okay. If you have a mommy, a stepmommy, a mommy. If you have a mommy, please stick out your tongue. Oh, nice job, okay. So we've had brothers and sisters, mommies and daddies. We'll do daddies next, okay. If you have a daddy, a stepdaddy, a daddy. If you have a daddy, please wiggle your foot. Oh, I'm wiggling my foot. What about you? There you go. 
All right, let's see who out there has a grandma or a grandpa. Okay, all right, let's listen. Uh, if you have a grandma, grandpa, or grandma, if you have a grandma, please pat your head. Oh, nice job. All right, let's see. Let's do one more. Uh, let's say if you have an aunt or an uncle. If you have an aunt or uncle, an aunt or uncle, an aunt or uncle. If you have an aunt or uncle, then flap like a chicken. Oh, how silly is that? Oh my goodness. I bet you can think of other people in your family that you can do some silly motions to for that song. Think, think a little bit more, see what you can come up with. Grownups, you may have noticed that kids really love to be useful and helpful, and we can let them become a valuable part of the household by giving them real tasks that are age appropriate. That can include things like putting toys away in the bin, setting the table, adding to ingredients or stirring while you're cooking, um, putting away laundry. Find a link from the Cleveland Clinic for ideas for appropriate tasks by age in the description. Did you know that animals can also be really big helpers? So some dogs and miniature horses help people who have visual impairments or other disabilities in their day-to-day -day lives. And therapy animals like dogs, cats, rabbits, and birds can help people who feel anxious or lonely feel better. This next song is about our animal helpers. So what kind of noise does a dog make? Maybe a helper dog they would go woof 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 that's right okay the dog helps his owner with the woof 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 a woof 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 a woof 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 the dog helps his owner with the woof 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 all day long what about a cat what what kind of noises do cats make meow that's right okay the cat helps her owner with the meow, 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 meow. That cat helps her owner with the meow, 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 all day long. Oh, what about the horse? It goes neigh. That's right. Okay. The horse helps their owner with the neigh, 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 neigh. Nay, 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 the horse helps their owner with the nay, 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 all day long. Okay, what about rabbits? What kind of noises do rabbits make? They don't really make noises, do they? They're very quiet. So let's sing the rabbit helps their owner with a snuggle, 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 because that's what they like to do. The rabbit helps their owner with the snuggle, 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 a snuggle, 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 a snuggle, snuggle, snuggle. The rabbit helps their owner with the snuggle, 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 all day long. Nice job. So I have three books to share with you all about those helpers that we talked about earlier. The first one is called Clothesline Clues to Jobs People Do. This is by Katherine Helling and Deborah Hembrook with pictures by Andy Robert Davies. And it is a kind of a fun guessing game kind of book. So it says, look at the clotheslines and see every clue who uses these things for the jobs that they do. So that's what, what our job is, is to figure it out. So let's do the first one. Uniform and cap, an invite for you, a big bag of letters. What job does she do? So I see a blue shirt and blue pants and a baseball cap, a bag and a letter. She is a mail carrier. See, see the mail carrier has all of those clothes on with their mail truck. So it keeps going. There's all kinds of different clues that you can check out. And these are all people that help us in their jobs. So that is clothesline clues to jobs people do. 
So we mentioned that some of our best helpers are the people in our families. So this is a book about families. It is called One Family. It's by George Shannon with pictures by Blanca Gomez. And uh, it's kind of a counting book. So it's talking about people who has um, a different number of people in their family. So it says one is one, one lamp, one clock, one book to share. So this person lives by themselves, but they're their own family. That's right. And one is two. So one family can be two people. One pair of shoes, one team of horses, one family. So this family has a grown up and a child, and they are a family. Let's do one more. One is three. One house of bears, one bowl of pears, one family. So there's three bears and there's three pears in the bowl. So you can kind of see the things that they talk about in the poem. And there's three people in this family. So it keeps going, it counts all the way up to 10. Can you think of a family with 10 people in it? Wonder which which of those are grown-ups and which of those are kids? Hmm, you'll have to read it and find out. And our last book is about animal helpers. So this is called Madeline Finn and the Therapy Dog. And this is by Lisa Papp. And so this is kind of a series of books, actually. Madeline Finn um, explores different kinds of dogs. But in this one, her dog is studying to become a therapy dog. So it says, happy birthday, Star. Is Star ready for his test tomorrow, Mom asks. He sure is, I say. We have been practicing. So therapy dogs have to do a lot of uh, practice, and then they have to pass a test in order to be certified. So what do they practice? She says, we practice meeting people. See, they're meeting the mailman. Hello, Madeline Finn, the postman says. We practice sitting still when a bike goes by. We even practice meeting other dogs. You're gonna do great, I tell Star. You're gonna make the best therapy dog ever. So you can read more to see what that test looks like for Star the dog and what they need to do in order to be a good therapy dog. Okay, so for our suggested activity, I am gonna talk a little bit about sorting games. Sorting games are fun to play and can be made with items that you have on hand. And they exercise a lot of early learning skills. So if you have an older child, ask them to help you sort items by different properties. So say all the toys from the toy bin are out. You can ask them to help you put all the hard toys in one pile and all the soft toys in another pile. Or maybe the big toys in a big bin and all the small toys in a small bin. What other categories can you come up with together? Color, shape, size, and texture are all good options, and they can help clean up at the same time. Younger children can practice their fine motor skills just by picking up items and putting them into a container. You can introduce things like shape and color sorting gradually. At our library programs, we have things like colored craft sticks to put into a box. Where's the purple? Where's the red? Things like that. Um, putting plastic balls into a box and by their color, different colored balls. Or uh, things like pom-poms. I just put them into just an egg carton and they can use tongs or just their fingers to pick up the pom-poms and maybe put all the yellow ones together or all of the bigger ones together. That's a, a fun and just an easy way to do it. Remember that bigger items and the smaller items exercise different muscles in our hands. So mix it up. You could also try sorting cereal or crackers at snack time for an extra layer of fun. Thanks so much for joining me for this episode of Storytime Shorts. We'll see you next month. And in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep reading, keep singing, keep rhyming, and keep learning.